want to wear costumes, so. Um, Mommy! 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 way of saying evening or when we get together and, and thank God for all that God does for us. So if you're listening to the story, it starts out by the Emperor Augustus calling for everybody to be counted. I so know that story. You know that story. Well, I'm happy you know that story. Does anybody want to be, does anybody want to be emperor? I don't know. You want to be emperor? <laughs> Nicholas, you would make a good emperor. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, as well. I didn't mean to keep Nick, you. Nick, are you going to get trapped? Oh, thank you. What's an emperor? That's an excellent question. Very good. Can you make a decree? <laughs> Everybody be seated. There's a decree. <laughs> an emperor is somebody who's got a, a lot of power and can tell everybody what to do. He's kind of like the president, except that the president still has to talk to other people. The, the emperor can tell everybody what they have to do. And so much so that they... Had, uh, that Mary and Joseph had to get on a donkey and go a His long way. The donkey's way. name was Who does <laughs> Did Mary you hear about Mary? that? About that? Does anybody want to be a, a, the donkey? Not me. I do. <laughs> I don't feel like hands. I don't know your name, but here you can just put that around your shoulders. Doesn't that feel like a, what a donkey might look like? Yeah. I don't know. So I'm We've got we've got a donkey, but now we need a Mary and a Joseph. Not me. Not you. <laughs> okay. So we've got Mary here. You're gonna be Mary. I never got Mary. You never got Mary. I never got Mary. Who wants to be Joseph? Not me. Not you. All right, Dylan. Here, you can be Joseph. You don't want to. Okay. And who will not me? Not you, buddy. Not me, because I don't want to be a wife. Fox, Fox, Fox. 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 You yes. can just put this around your shoulders. No? Okay. We'll just pretend that you have it around Okay. All right, so we've got Mary and Joseph and her donkey, and they're on the way to, do you remember where Jesus was born, what the name of the town was? Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Right. You guys are good. You guys are good. Now, what happened when they got to Bethlehem? Do you remember? They had really, really. They were really hungry. I bet they were. I bet they were. And they went to the hotel, and there wasn't any room for them. There was a no vacancy sign there. So that means there wasn't any room for them in the inn. So they went to a barn, and they had to stay in a barn, kind of like what our crush looks like right there, which is where the animals live, not where people live. But that's, when, that's the only place they had to have them. And what happened there is that Mary had her baby. Can I use it? Can I? Let's see. This is our little baby Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Let us, let us try to help you. I'll be like this. So, so Mary had her baby Jesus, and she, uh, she wrapped him in bands of cloth, or sometimes it's referred to as swaddling. Have you ever seen a baby swaddled before? No, it's kind of strange, isn't it? Well, you want to help me swaddle our baby Jesus? I've got some bands of cloth here. Yeah. No. 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 Leia and, Leia and, and Lily and, and Isabella, are you going to help me? So, so what we're told in the story is that she wraps bands of cloth around the baby. Now, do any of you have like a favorite sweater or pajamas that you like wearing? Yes. That they're all snuggly and warm, especially like on a snowy day? Yeah. Oh, 
Okay. All right, they're doing a really good job here. I'll show you all of this in a second. The only unfortunate thing about this is that uh, Jesus ends up looking like a mummy. There's baby Jesus wrapped in his head. You know how to make it stay. I am a mummy. So this is this is so that Jesus is nice and warm and he feels all comfortable because he feels like he's being constantly hugged. Now, would you like to feel like you're constantly being hugged or loved? No. Well, let me tell you, babies like that a whole lot. Babies like that a whole lot. So Mary had her baby and she wrapped him in bands of cloth. And she laid him in a manger. Now, do you guys know what a manger is? Yes. yes what? What's a manger? It's like a crib. It's like a crib? Well, it's, it acts like a crib because we've got a baby in it. But do you know what it's really used for? What? It's for feeding animals. It's for feeding animals. Isn't that a strange place to put a baby? That's awful. But that's where, that's the only thing they had to put Jesus in. So that's where they laid him. No, they wouldn't eat him. They wouldn't eat him. So, so now this seems just like a, a, an interesting story so far that we've got a, a, a couple that had a baby and there was no room so they had to have the baby in a stable and they put him in a manger and they took care of him by putting uh, bands of cloth around him. But then something amazing happened. Do you know what happens next in the story? Angels! 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 Yay, we got angels! Baby, 
there's a, that's a lot of room in there for the point. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, reason high, because you want to see that. You want to see that star from everywhere. So everybody can come and see the baby Jesus. So they come and they see the, see the baby Jesus, and they're so excited because it's just as the angel said. It was amazing. And they couldn't believe it. So they went out and they told all of their friends about Jesus. And they told all of, and then all of those people told all of their friends about Jesus. Yeah. And that's what I want you guys to do. I want you to tell your friends about Jesus and about how special Jesus is. He's such a precious, precious present that God gave us. Yes. What? Oh, that's very nice. That's good. So, and what's important is that as much fun as we have on Christmas morning with all the presents, we have to remember that the reason for Christmas is Christ, is Jesus. And that's what makes it all so special. And that's what makes it... Oh, yeah. We get presents because Jesus got presents. But that's in a couple of weeks, so you can all come back and hear the rest of the story.